Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? This is Sarah Prince if you're here for a new day, a new, uh, a new episode, and I just want to um, thank you for actually uh, subscribing and liking my uh, my uh, my page, and definitely uh, so so excited about just uh, talking about this episode uh, because it's about loving the process, loving the process, uh, and. For anyone who has seen my before and after, and I definitely decided to share it today. Uh, if you want to go check it out on my Instagram page, um, it was the moment in my life where I needed to make huge changes. Uh, not only in the physical, which is the physical is necessary, uh, but then in the emotional and psychological part of it. Uh, it helped me build myself up uh, to to become much better uh, person. Uh, believe me, sometimes the process for a lot of people can be um, really tough to be able to kind of sort of like uh, share that process because you gotta get your hands dirty. And this is one of the things that I, I love about uh, doing what I do now uh, and being, a, being in, in a business where I have to constantly doing different things that might not feel uh, you know being comfortable and so uh, if you have the chance uh, once again to check out my Instagram go check it out and uh, and, and actually okay you can listen to my podcast it will be the process of whatever you do uh, whether it's losing weight whether it's maybe doing intermediate fasting maybe when you're doing brand new business maybe just jumping into a brand new business you have to love the process there's a lot of things that's gonna have been through that process in order to get what you want to get. Once again, it's just knowing that it's going to take work, knowing that it is, it is just, it is just going to be a, a, a moment in your life where you, it's the decision making of, of many things. Because one of the things about that process is that. You're gonna either sweat, you're gonna feel uncomfortable, you're going to feel, um, you know, that you have to go faster. But there's, there is, there's the speed on things that you need to understand. Number one is patience. You have to have patience on whatever you do. And that part of that loving the process is having patience and they all go together they, they, they sort of they sort of buy, go hand in hand in order to approach yeah when I first started intermediate fasting a year and a half ago I started to understand the word patience I started to understand that oh wait a second I don't need to rush on this <laughs> because your body is going to do the biological, the natural thing is supposed to do in a daily basis, which is keep you awake, keep your brain function, keep you moving. And my thing was, because I needed to break habit, the habits of eating five to six meals per day. And that process, knowing and remembering that process, it enlightened me to say, Wow, is it is it is it's, it's crazy how you become efficient by letting the natural thing just do by itself, just do the natural flow. Um, it was hard because you know you're you're so 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 accustomed to a specific pattern. This is what it comes down to being in a comfort zone. It's just you you letting yourself be in that comfort zone for so long that when you disrupt that pattern and you you decide that you make that decision of saying you know what I need to uh, I need to do this uh, you know in a constant basis uh, in order to you know uh, in order to change that consistency will get you to the next level again and again believe me you know I did lose you know in my story in my in my journey I lost 70 pounds and somewhere in between, that same pattern that I was following for too long it started affecting me. 
uh, affected me work-wise. I was not. I was feeling like tired, tired. Um, I was feeling like wanted to take a nap and <laughs> somewhere around two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Wanted to take a nap, and uh, and, and 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 knowing that I needed to change, and that's for for sure how I ended up losing seventy pounds. Uh, and, and I didn't realize, you know, how, how a decision making of trying to lose maybe another 10, 15 pounds, but it wasn't not about losing weight anymore. It was more like I need to recharge, I need to change. And so that process of making the switch to to say to myself, hey, wait a second, you, you have a tool which is intermittent fasting. Now you have to have patience and you have to be able to get to what you want to be and you become more self-aware. Everything starts to become a, a connection. Everything becomes a connection. We can get down to it. I'm, one thing, guys, I'm not a, an expert on science. I'm not, a, I'm not, once again, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not, I, I can tell you, I'm a certified instructor, personal trainer, but I haven't got down to science because I was afraid to know the truth. <laughs> and it's, it's real, I'm gonna be just as real as possible I can be. Because this is, we don't wanna know the truth, we're trying to avoid it. We're trying to avoid the, 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 the fact that probably you're wrong and now you gotta rely on real information. You have to literally dig deep into, in order to get to that, into, into love, and knowing that you're loving this process, because once you're, you put the, the things together, you start putting the pieces to the puzzle to where you're trying to achieve. And that's what is it so interesting is that that process that you're going through is necessary. Because once you look back and look back, when I look back when I was 220 pounds, I look back, man, I went through a lot of process, a lot of process. And, and loving the factor that, that the fact that uh, that decision making of that I know I was going through a, a lot of process, a lot of mindset, a lot of uh, 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 you know self belief, self love, you you name it. You're 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 growing inside. You're 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 detaching yourself from old belief to new belief, and that helps to be more self um, self aware about yourself you become more uh, more mental that mental clarity you get from you know from fasting and and from and, and listening to that information that is going to help you uh, help you grow and, and hopefully what you're listening to this today on, on loving the process loving the process is necessary because it's going to take you to the first step of getting you uncomfortable, getting you moving, getting you to understand that what are you doing right now is, is going to make a huge effect on your life. It wasn't easy. It's never easy. But if you follow those that are doing the same thing you're doing and, 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 uh, and connecting with those people that are doing that is going to change your life and making a difference. Believe me, it has helped me out. For me, uh, connecting with other influencers and other people that are doing something that's gonna change uh, my personal life and has changed my life is because, once again, is, is, it has made a huge difference. And loving the pattern, the, 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 the process, loving the, the, the whole sweat, maybe tears and anything else that comes in between, is, is going to be essential for that change. And hopefully you guys love this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the, hit the uh, bell button. And uh, guys, don't forget, this is goes both for my YouTube and my GTV. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.